Repairing parts of your fountain that are made from Newcrete is fairly easy, however it does require some patience and of course the right materials. This riser from our Royal Lion Fountain has a bit of damage at the top and in the access door area. Going through our available repair materials we have epoxy putty but we've chosen the DAP concrete patch for this repair. Some commonly available Rust-Oleum paint is also on hand once we finish the repair and of course some sanding materials and always remembering to be safe and use gloves. Surface preparation is always important in making sure that you have a quality and long-lasting repair. This cement patch repair by DAP is an excellent material because it not only will fill those small cracks, but used properly, it can fix larger areas of concern like this one here. It will take a few coats of this material as we don't want to put it on too thick because we want to ensure that it cures and dries properly. On this first coat, we'll just take out some of the rough edges, let it dry, and get at it again after 24 hours. With hairline cracks, it's best to use a small amount on your glove finger to effect the repair. Thin coats of this material will dry in 8 to 10 hours, but we like to give it 24 just to be sure, and then add another second light coat over this area. With this second coat nice and dry, we're going to sand it just a little bit and inspect to see if we need any more. In this case we want a really nice repair so we're going to give it a third coat. This third light coat will make it much easier for us to sand and texture this to get a perfect look and an unnoticeable repair. A medium grit sandpaper works well in this application, taking out the rough edges yet leaving us some texture for the paint to adhere to. We'll use an X-Acto knife to cut a similar texture to the surrounding area to completely disguise this repair. Using a gray satin spray paint, we'll put on a light first coat just to check our repair area to make sure that we're happy with the texture. Make sure to follow all label directions regarding dry and cure time of the paint before adding a second coat. We'll now use our dry brush method using some white spray paint to better hide the area and match the original color. Using a material such as cardboard, put a small amount of paint on the cardboard and then on your brush taking out most of the paint, leaving your brush fairly dry as the name implies, and carefully adding that dry brushed white over the gray area to match that original color. Again, some patience is required in effecting this important step, but the results will be worth it. After following and perhaps exceeding the dry time recommended by the spray paint, we recommend adding a clear sealer to not only protect your repair, but to protect all those areas of the riser that are fully submersed in water. And yes, that would include the inside of the riser if possible. 